Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got another Top 5 Tuesdays for you. If you're new to my channel, Top 5 Tuesdays is a series I do in collaboration with the glam Dr. Mona Khan. She is another YouTuber and I will link down to her channel and her video for this week in my description box. So definitely check out her channel, definitely check out her video. You're going to love her content. And so we're talking about NARS. We're talking about our top five NARS products. So I just wanted to mention a couple things before we jumped into my list. One, I didn't want to mention anything that was limited edition. So all of these products are part of the regular line of NARS. I just didn't want to like go on and on about stuff that you guys can't get because it's just frustrating and annoying. The other thing I want to mention is I have such a long history with NARS. NARS is one of the very first, in fact, I think NARS is the first thing I ever bought at a Sephora back in 1996. And um, it was one of their multiple sticks in Copacabana, that really like light, cool tone, like frosty color. I wore it on my first date with my husband and he still remembers. It. I just put it on my eyelids and that was it. I had no other makeup on. <laughs> I put it on my eyelids as eyeshadow and that was it. And yeah, and he remembers that, and I, you know, I would wear it often. I think only a couple times that I actually wear it on my cheek, but I just really liked it as eyeshadow. Um, but anyway, so I do go way back with NARS, and when I was much younger, I had really bad eczema on my lip, and NARS lipstick at that time, this we're talking like 20 years ago, NARS lipstick used to bring out the eczema on my lips. So I stopped buying NARS lipsticks, and I just never started again. So every time I talk about NARS, you guys always comment, and I appreciate it, but you guys always comment like, oh, you gotta try his lipsticks. How? I'm surprised you haven't tried his lipsticks. How come you haven't tried his lipsticks? Well, that's why. I know the formula has changed since then, and I know that it probably won't bring out my eczema now, today, in the year 2018, but I'm just a little gun shy, and I have plenty of other lipstick, but that's where I'm coming from. I, I love NARS. I've always had this love affair with NARS. It was one of like the first like coolest makeup brands that ever came out, but me and the lipsticks didn't agree then, and I'm just a little gun shy now. So anyway, if you're interested in hearing what my top five NARS products are, then just keep on watching. So some of these products you will definitely have heard me mention before, especially in other top five videos. So let me start with those. Uh, the first one is the Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed in Translucent Crystal. This is that pressed setting powder. I love this powder. I like setting under my eyes with this powder. It's really, really light and it has, um, it's not like micro glitters, it just has this really unique kind of effect where it's almost silky and it just feels like so super super smooth and it just sort of like lays right on top and like sets your concealer down really really nicely. So I love this powder. I think it's a really unique product. That is number one. Number two is another one that I've mentioned I think in my top five lip glosses and this is the NARS Super Vixen lip gloss. I have it on right now. I just love it. I think it's just a really cool color. It is, it's kind of pinky, it's kind of peachy, there's some sparkles in there that give it maybe like a little bit of a coppery tone, a little coppery sheen, and it kind of is one of those shades that is like a shade shifter. Like if you wear it with a cool tone look, it'll look a little bit more cool tone. If you wear it with a warm tone look, it'll look a little bit more warm tone. And it will also shift depending on what color, obviously what color you have on under it. But I like wearing it by itself. I think it has just enough pigment for me. I don't like really, really highly pigmented lip glosses. I like ones that are kind of medium to sheer. And this one is like right at medium. I think it has a nice amount of pigment, but it's far from opaque. So I think it gives like your lips, like it's just this really nice, kind of coloring. So that is Super Vixen. And this next product has actually appeared, I think in like my ride or die blog post when I was keeping up my blog, which I need to get back to. But anyway, that's another story. Um, this is the NARS blush in Madly. It's just the perfect neutral nudie blush for me. It has like a little bit of a sheen and it's, uh, it's just perfect. This is that blush like if you don't know what to put on or if you're not sure what you're doing with the rest of your look, you put this blush on and much like this lip gloss, it kind of goes with anything. It can lean a little cool, it can lean a little warm, it just works. So I just love it and I do like that it has a little bit of a sheen. I don't like matte blushes, I feel like they look very drying and very stark 
and this has just enough sheen. You know, it's not like a highlighting blush or anything. It just has a little luminosity to it. So I'm a big fan of this blush. And then the last two products are highlighters. Uh, let me talk about the older one first. This one is Hot Sand. And this may have actually come out as limited edition at first, and then now it's part of the regular line. But this highlighter is stunning. And I feel like this came out maybe last summer and people talked about it and then all of a sudden like no one's talking about it anymore and it's such a pretty highlight oh it just has like just the right amount of peachiness it has just the right amount of like reflection it's not too much it just it's another one just like these two products it just kind of goes with everything and the texture of it is just it's kind of a straight up powder there's nothing uh terribly funky with it and you know it's not like one of those baked gelées it's not pressed too hard. It's just a nice kind of typical powder, which is every once in a while very refreshing. So uh, that is Hot Sand. And then last but not least, we have one of the newer highlighters, and this has been in my recent favorites, and this is probably the newest thing to my collection out of all these things. But this is the Fort de France Highlighting Powder. I love it. I love it. This is one of those weird funky textures. It is very, very different. And I want to say it's a little bit more shiny than uh, the hot sand. And the hot sand is a little bit more peachy. The Fort de France is a little bit more gold. And what I like about the Fort de France is that it is very, very buildable. So let me put another layer on there. And it just gets like brighter and brighter. So you can really kind of customize how lit you want to look with this formula. I really have been going hard in this pan. I don't know if you guys can see all those like chunks missing, but this is actually a very interesting formula because it almost appears like you have hard pan, but you don't. And it almost, like when you first go in, you're like, oh, this is pressed too hard, but it's not like it's pressed too hard and you can't get any product. It's not like that. It's just, it's it feels like it's hard, but you get plenty of product. So anyway, I've been enjoying this product a lot. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know down below in the comment section what some of your favorites are. And I will see you in my next video.